So in this session, we will be seeing developing first application in SAP i5. So let us just see the agenda of this session. So first I will just cover SAP i5 libraries and then I will just cover what are the, some, some of the important references of SAP i5 like API references, explode and icon references. Then I will just cover the controls in SAP i5 followed by just the hello world application in Eclipse. So moving on. So this is the libraries. These are some of the libraries used in SAP UI5. So on the left you could see these are the libraries that are supported both, both desktop and mobile. And here in the right side you could see the set of libraries. These are only supported in the desktop. So for example, here SAP.m and SAP.UI.com. So SAP.m is supported in both, both desktop and mobile but sap.ui.comments is only supported in desktop version. So these particular libraries could be combined with these particular libraries. So sap.m.library could be combined with sap.ui core or sap.ui.layout or sap.ui.unified. So these three can be used in any of the combinations. So moving on. So let's just see the API references. So we will be also seeing the explored and the icon references here. So now let's look at the API references. So here we are getting all the APIs. So this is the URL for this API reference. So here we, we are getting all the reference of the controls that SAP UI5 has. So going through this API you could get all the information related to the particular API. So I will also like to introduce you to the Explode, SAP UI5 Explode. Here you will get all the examples and all the controls of the SAP UI5. So these are all the controls in SAP UI5. So there are more than 500 controls in SAP UI5. So let's just take an example here. So this is the label control here. So I will just explain it to you. So there is this about section here. So it tells what the label is and there is the sample where you could get the example and the code itself. So if I just click on label, here you are getting all the labels and if I just click here, I will just get the code for the label. So these are the samples then it also has this properties association and, and method. So label property has this text as a property which takes a string type. So this was the explode section that I mentioned. So I will also like to mention you the icons. So this is the icons here. So SAP UI5 supports multiple icons in SAP. So if I just click on message pop-up, so the de detail of the message pop-up will be here and this is the basic icon of the pop-up. So this was a bit of the example of the icon references. Moving on. Now let's just discuss the controls in SAP UI5. So as I already mentioned, there are more than 500 controls, both simple and complex controls in SAP UI5 which are supported. So controls are basically used to define the appearance and the behavior of the parts of the screen. And this is the structure of the control. Basically we define a control using the prefix of the namespace. If we are using the button controls, we will define the namespace before it that is sap.m. So sap.m is basically library and it is the namespace acting here. So if we are de defining a particular control, we will write sap.m.control that is a button or anything like that. So let's just look at the structure here. This is the property. Properties are basically the appearance and behavior which are initiated on the initialization and then we have the aggregation. These aggregations are basically used to group the controls within the control. So all these control like in the list item, so there is this aggregation where you could aggregate multiple controls in one, one control itself. So associations are there, so basically one control could be associated with another item and then we have the events like if a button has, button is clicked, so press event is the event for the button and for example there is this search field and if we are writing something and um, pressing on the uh, search button then it will trigger the search event. So similarly it has also methods. So
so methods are nothing but one particular control has this render method which is used to render the html moving on now let's just look at the hello world application so these are the steps i will just tell you all the scenario of this of this particular project i will just demonstrate the video live example in the video so these are the steps first you need to create a new project a cpi5 project and then you will you have to do three things these are the three scenarios basically this is the hello world message that we have to populate we are using three different approaches the first approach is to display hello world message using html itself here no sap wifi controls neither libraries are loaded only html5 is using and here in the next step here we will be using hello world message which would be populated using sap wifi control itself all the sap wifi libraries will be loaded and the controls will be used then we will be using a button there would be a button and on the click of the that button we would be populating an alert met, alert message which would which would be populated with this hello world message itself so these are the scenarios here which i have defined in the video so now we will be creating a new sap ufa project in eclipse and we will be display displaying a hello world message using html itself and then we will be using sap ufa controls to display stm uh, a hello world message and afterwards we will use a button and all to display hello world message so let's start with it so here is my eclipse so let's make a new project here in the new go to new and then to others select a cpi5 here it is and then to application project so first you have to provide a project name let's say we provide it as hello world so that's done so my default location that is my workspace is here and then we have to use choose a particular library that is scpui commons or scp.m so basically we choose scp.m since scp.m is compatible with both desktop and mobile version but scpui commons is only compatible with desktop version so therefore we will be choosing scp.m here and we won't be creating any views here we will be coding in the html file itself that's why we will just uncheck this particular option that we are getting here so let's just uncheck it so now if i just finish it i will be getting a hello world project in my project explorer here so these are all my resources so here is my java resources and all my sap wifi plugins that i have already installed so all those resources i am getting here and in the web content i have this meta inf web inf so we don't have we don't find it useful while development purpose both these files but here we are getting this index.html file so this is an important file basically whenever an sap i5 project loads this is the first file to get loaded so here we are getting all this code of piece of line here so now what we have to do we have to display a hello world message so here all my libraries and all are li loaded here sap ui file libraries are loaded here so what i will do i will just comment all these portion here okay that's done fine now i will just write other uh, on the piece of code and try to display hello world message so i have this code snippet with me i will just copy this and paste it here so here is my doc type normal html tags and are open head tag is open meta it is defined here what Um, the latest version of internet explorer should be loaded here all these things are setted up here and the title i have already given first is cp i5 project so in the body in the um, paragraph tag i have written hello world so let me just save this so here um, no sap i5 resources are loaded 
nothing relating to SAPI 5 is loading so just only the HTML portion is loaded here so I have saved this now I have to run this program so now to run this program just right click on hello world and go to run as and here you would get this web app review just click on it and here you are getting this hello world message and if you like you could copy this whole URL and paste it in the Chrome and you will get the output here itself hello world so that's it here we are displaying the message as using the HTML itself now we will do some coding using SAP OI 5 and for that I will just remove this code from here and uncomment this portion fine I will just save this and here we are seeing in the script tag we are have a bit of code so basically this is the bootstrapping code so here in the SRC we are just mentioning from where the SAP i5 libraries resources should be loaded so basically in the last video I have shown you we have already loaded the SAP i5 plugin for this Eclipse so basically these resources are locally and we are getting the resources locally so this is one option to get the resources and there is another option to get the resources from the internet that is from the cloud platform so open your i5 something I will just tell you about it in the later videos so here I am just using it in the resources from locally so basically from internet we use to get this resources basically when we we are developing in SAP web ID so here we are using Eclipse that's why we are using the local resources and here I have provided an ID SAP UI bootstrap and here I am getting data SAP UI lips, lips. I have provided SAP.m so here I will be using controls related to SAP.m namespace so if I were to use some other um, libraries like sap.ui.commons I should have mentioned it here itself so here I, I will be using only sap.m libraries that's why I will only write sap.m and here I have to provide a theme and by default this is the theme that I have I am getting sap blue crystal there are plenty of other themes but we generally take this theme so this is this whole bunch of code is by default so nothing to write about it here so now we have to display hello world message using SAP Wi-Fi controls so the first control that comes to mind is text control of SAP Wi-Fi and for that let me just create a variable named something o text and now I will just instantiate the new control using the new sap.m dot text and here I will just provide the properties so the property of text is text itself let me just show you so this is SAP i5 explode here I will just write text here so I'm getting this text so if I just look in the, into the properties here I am getting this text as property so it takes in string value so I will just write text here and I will just give something meaningful like hello world so this is my text I could also give an ID to this control ID text so that's it so here we have created a text and the variable name we have taken is o text so this is the control sap.m.text and we have provided this as id and this text here is our property and it takes in as a string so we have provided a string so that's done now what we have to do we have to place this text 
in our DOM and here is um, I have created it here and given an ID as content so we will place our text in the content here so for that I will just write o text dot place it content that's it I will just place a semicolon here and save it so this ID and this ID should be same I have saved this and I will just run it again so here it is this time our SAP UI file library has been loaded and this particular text this has been loaded using SAP UI5 control that is SAP.m.text control so that was one of our examples so in next step would be to create a button and on the click of that button we will be getting an alert and on a, that alert we will be writing hello world and now to create a new control that is SAP.m.button first we will take a variable and we will name it as something meaningful O button new SAP dot M dot button and we will provide our new ID for this let's say ID button if we don't provide an ID it basically takes a random ID and now we have to provide a text for the button so button also has this property named as text we will write something click me okay fine now I have to just place this button in the content so like before what we have done we will just place it at content so that's done I'm just saving it now here I have this now if I just reload it I will get a button so if I just now click on this nothing will happen now I have to write code for the press event let me just show you so here in the SAP dot SAP explode UFI explode if I just type in button here so I am getting this button in the properties I have already written text and the string also now if I just see the event in the event I am getting this press event so I will be using the press event in the button so here I will just write press and give a function for this and write something meaningful here maybe an alert function and here I will write hello world so that's it it's that simple we have created a variable and this is our new control SAP.m.button this is our ID and text is our property it takes a string we have used a click me in the quotes this press is an event of the button and when we are clicking on the pr um, button this particular function event would trigger and in the event we have mentioned this alert function so that's it if I just save this and run it again if now I click on this click me I would get an alert so here it is we have get, we have got an alert here so I hope you are clear with this example simple example hello world so that's it for this video thanks for watching